climate activist Greta Thornburg told people in China to stop using chopsticks to save trees. Probably. That woman's batshit. But I'm going to say false. I'm going to say it's true. That is false. That is a Fox News headline. I've <laughs> <laughs> been hanging out with my dad too much. <laughs> <laughs> This is how we're going to start. Is it? You need to tell us about the serial killer. Oh, okay. So some of this is going to have to get cut. Why? If I give you the full T, I'm going to name it. It's on the news, isn't it? Not the stuff I know. Well, this is the best you part. You know more than the news? I know more than the news. Breaking no, news. Coming to you live from the corner of Pop in the Deer District. <laughs> this is coming out in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be breaking then. <laughs> yeah, this person will be in prison. So you're safe. He's already in prison. He's, he's already well, in prison. Well, 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 so What's his name? Let's, let's Where does start he work? Off. Let's Who start did he off. kill? Stop. What's his favorite body part? There's There's been body parts showing up in Milwaukee. Oh, I did see that on the news today. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, they found a leg in Cudahy, and then they found a, a, a appendage, as they said, uh, uh, kind of on the north side. And then somebody's car on fire with the airbags off. Uh, no one inside. On uh, close to where they found the first appendage. Okay. So then they the, the but there's a leg in Cudahy that they found, and then they said they have a person of interest in. Are they missing a leg? No, person of interest is arrested for the missing. Oh, okay. Leg. Oh, I thought that leg hopped there on its own. <laughs> but then they also. Say that there's a missing 19 year old girl, and they won't they won't say that if that but her, that was the, her car that was on fire. Okay, so they won't say if it's it's her body parts or not, but they have a dude in, in custody. Um, but we they haven't charged him with anything yet, but he's in custody, uh, and he also used to work at the high note. Yeah. <laughs> For everyone else that doesn't know, that's where we do comedy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like Holy I look, like the shit. thing I did, I looked at him for, I looked at him on Facebook, and he, there's like 30 people that are mutual friends. With Can him. you say, and I'll beat this out. What's his name? <laughs> would I know this person? Yeah, he would. Yeah. He would have been a- after COVID. Oh shit. Pull him up. Oh, Pull him I, up. I got, I got some mutual friends here as well. Oh, shit. <laughs> so the, the, I love so, this. Oh. That's him. So there's more. I have plenty more. You want me to keep going? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so yeah. Um, the reason that he got pulled into this as a person of interest is because he now works at Victor's. And the coworkers at Vic- victims. Yeah, that's victims. victims. That's their nickname. Is I know. Victim. Full I know. Circle. <laughs> Isn't that wild? And then. Uh, apparently, the people at Victor's told the police that he was going on a date with with her on Monday. So, I got to believe that that's her leg. Right. I mean, deductive reasoning yes. would put her leg in Cudahy. So, that's why, but then also there's appendages by the car, so there's got to be body parts, you know? All over. Yes. We got to find, it's like geocaching. Yeah. So and then he gets he gets uh, arrested and a lot of stuff taken out of his apartment or his duplex that he lives in and apparently somebody who's been in there said he was friends with the guy ha- he dug himself a trench in his basement like, for what was, for what reason is the trench no no clue oh probably to put the body the rest of the body or to have a standoff I don't I do they do not know and it's all speculation and then. Um, Allegedly, all this is allegedly here. Yeah. All this is allegedly. He did it. Um, allegedly, you have to bleep this, but I'm gonna tell you this in confidence. Yeah. Um, so apparently, um, I can say it without cue music. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! That wild. Also, prove innocent to proven guilty. <laughs> I should yeah. say that. I wild. should say that. That's wild. crazy stuff, though, right? Well, now that I know what he looks like, oh, I'm not also, going on any dates with him. Also, yeah. well, well, also Thank on God. his on his Facebook because like 
a lot of it is public that you can see. You don't even have to be friends with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says that like three days ago, and this was like right before he got uh, arrested, he was asking anyone if they want to join him volunteering at Feed, Feed Hungry for America. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he changed his relationship. I don't think status. he did it. I don't think he did it. The dude likes to feed. He's feeding. Yeah. That's such a blatant call. Wouldn't like it a lie. Wouldn't like it a time. Dude, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Pretty wild stuff. Damn. So we like. But Walkie's got a lot of these. That's our Dahmer. I don't know if it's our Dahmer. Well, I don't know if he's. Our Dahmer. You had your okay, Dahmer. Okay. Okay. I. <laughs> No. He lived below him. <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy. That's really crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. How do you know more than the news? So, uh, I I was told that there was, there was a leg missing was by that part three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I saw that, yeah. The, by the part three that, and then the where whatever Prusky's it was. Been. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so that was a, that was where the lake was. So it's not too far from where I live. Mm-hmm. So people were like, "Oh, do you know about this?" I, was like, I don't know. And then someone that asked me if I knew about it, I said, "I don't know." Then they followed up. They're like, "Oh my gosh, I went to high school with the guy," and I was like, "What?" And then and then they were like, "Oh, yeah, it's also by this person's house where he lives now, and that's where they were the police were taking stuff out." So it was like crazy. That's how you I think that's more. why we don't do comedy there anymore. They just knew there's gonna be a plethora of well, jokes coming at him. Well, he so he worked at the high note and then worked at the rave and then worked at Victor's as the last. That's one. a good transition to serial killer. The high note, high note to rave to serial killer. Do you, do you think? Do you think victims? Oh, You've been enough you time at our open mics that yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you're gonna yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me talking about jerking off a few too many times. You want to put getting a your fudge packed in prison, which he might now. I, well, he's well, first of all, he's too. not been charged let's say that we oped his name we oped the other information yeah. it's what we should start a true crime podcast <laughs> you got any other true crime fat, stories fat chances on the scene <laughs> <laughs> those are our live events <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we mic you up, can we mic you up real quick we're holding our love mics up to him. <laughs> did you or did you not kill her yeah, no, our condolences to the family of the victim well that's a Morbid way to start, but that's, I know, that's but not, you asked me. I know, but that's me. interesting. Yeah, I kind of was. I don't. I think I've seen that guy once or twice. I was kind of hoping it was someone like I really knew. Like again, not dropping names, but it would have been real cool. I mean, it would have been real <laughs> scary. <laughs> I thought he was gonna drop a name there. I thought he was like not dropping names, but and then just say it. Was this person? If it was yeah. this, yeah, that would be very funny. which way? I thought you were gonna shave your face. Oh, it's too late now. Well, Judd got here. Wait. You were, we wait. Why were you gonna shave your face? The beard's getting long. Oh, okay. I thought like I couldn't see your beard for some. No, reason. you just got here and I was like, oh, he's here. Let's just start setting up. That's yeah, he was right. I thought go. it was like a surprise for me. No, no. you're like, who? Judd's got here. Damn it, I. Judd's gonna You've like this. You've done the mutton chops before though. Once. Not on, not on cam. Really? I just do it to mess with Jen. <laughs> oh, do you do it and then when she gets home, you have to shave it right away? I, I typically I do it when she goes to bed because typically I come to bed like thirty minutes after because I'm like locking up and yeah. doing all that stuff. And then I go up there, and I don't say anything. And then probably 45 minutes into me being in bed, she looks at me, and she goes, go downstairs and shave your fucking face. <laughs> and then we argue about it for 20 minutes, and then I go downstairs and shave my face. Because she hates the mutton chops. Yeah, Rachel she hates, hates the mustache. Which, speaking of mustache. I'm wear- I have a mustache for my, I have a mustache for my wedding. Yeah, he's I like, asked- are you going to shave your beard for the wedding? I go, yeah. Like, just stubble and probably a mustache. And he just goes, oh, okay. <laughs> and I was like, it's clearly you think that that's a bad idea. Well, I just know G hates the the facial hair, so I didn't think she'd be like, "Oh, let's definitely do a mustache." She likes with a beard or just a mustache. Really? God, I wish. Okay. Have to I to Rachel. Do, do no. Is there a countdown to how many days till you get married? From today. Yeah, it's it got to like, be getting close. It's really close. It's from the day this is released. Um, the day this is released to get married has got to be like. 14 days. I don't know. I don't want to do the math. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's even more math than he's doing right now. But Look. right now, we'll do the math together when I get to the website. <laughs> um, 25 days. From right now. So 11 days, basically. Until you, yeah. I'm going to come back and I'm just going to have so much more life and energy afterwards. Dude. 
Awesome. I can't wait for the episode afterwards. It's going to be a great time. Yeah. We're going to do more mug shots. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh, just going to be in every one well, of them. Well, uh, so is it wedding, then honeymoon? Uh, no, because we're going to be down there. We're in Cancun for a week. So we're like going to party down there, relax, hang out with friends. And then what we'll probably do is just find like a, a time to take like a trip, like a nice yeah. trip. But we don't have anything super crazily planned out. Yeah, this is a very relaxed wedding. Usually people around this time, um, they're like, oh, we got to get the flowers, got to get the food, got the whatever. They're like full panic mode. Yep. You wouldn't know you two are getting married in less than a month. No. You would have no clue. I, I mean, like, the two things you listed, I think they would have right away. Mm. Yeah. You get what I'm saying, but yeah. like but they're kind of like panic mode. Time. Like, Yeah, we're talking to bridesmaids, we're talking to groomsmen, yeah. all that stuff. But like, you guys are very well put together for this, especially G. Yeah, G's. Well, it's nice because we're. It's like at a like a resort, so it's like they pretty much have probably done our exact same wedding like 80 times. So we just kind of tell them what we want, and they'll do yeah. it. Elvis. And, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I want this. And they're like, all right, cool. And then little guy in a leprechaun. Thing. The one thing I'm worried about is um, one of my best men. He lives in Florida, and he's supposed to. He was supposed to get his like um, pants and shirt fitted, and it took like an extra three months because he's like such a like a odd shape. He's like a like a really you can long. You say fat? Legs. No, no, he's tall and like what? lanky. He's just really, really like what, long he's like appendages. Slender man? Slenderman? He's like six five, not Slenderman, because he's got a little bit more meat on his bones. But it's just like six six five, longest legs you've ever seen, long arms, like just like just it's hard to explain. So we would so I br- he got measured at a tailor. I brought the measurements to th- this tailor, and um, they were like, "This makes no sense." They're like, we're gonna have to FaceTime this guy. Like, it make like, there's no way a guy is shaped like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. And then, so they're like, all right. So we took like three more weeks for them to get in contact with him. And then when they did, the guy that fitted me wasn't the guy that was reading his measure that I was giving his measurements to. And the guy that was like fitting me was like, oh yeah, this is easy. So it's either my friend has a weird shape and this guy is overconfident, or the other guy was just an idiot. And so now I'm like hoping that everything still gets done in time for the wedding, but it's gonna be okay. I'm hoping his outfit is either way too fucking short, like, <laughs> like everything's like the capri pants or whatever they're called, yep. and then or it's just super long, yeah. like even for him. The there's like a he's rolling up his suit jacket. <laughs> there's a person I know we were we were in a wedding together, and they <laughs> they got pants and everything, and every, all the stuff came in, and they're they're probably shorter than Kosky. God, that makes me feel so good. He had a 38 length pants. That sucks. That's double his pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was literally just rolling down like it was unreal. <laughs> so he had, shuffle. Yeah, so he had to like hem like a full pants. That's swing. not hemming. <laughs> that's scissors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's what, it's also, going and getting some swim, swim trunks. Also, I, I was going to send it to you. Um, I get like these TikTok ads on like. A clothing brand. Oh, this would be a great clothing brand. And like this guy was like talking about how like no clothes fit me, and I was like, I need to make a clothing brand. And I was like, all right, he looks like a normal person to me, yeah. and like this and that. And all of a sudden, I go to his website, and it's and literally it's athletic clothing for short people. <laughs> that's his, <laughs> that's literally the tagline. So instead of big and tall, it's short and stout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they, that's oh, so Kusky. funny. Kusky. I don't struggle really finding clothes. I think pants are the hardest. Jeans are the hardest thing to find. I'm very picky with the way jeans look. That's why I never wear them. Mm-hmm. I like jeans. I have my work jeans, which like fit like a dad's jeans, but like my other jeans. I like. I'll get into like a phase where, like I'm really liking jeans, and then they'll. I mean, I guess I, those black pants I wear are are jeans. I just also don't have a lot of pants. I think I have like because you don't because legitimately. Your job is a sweatpants job. You I know. Go in sweatpants I can go in sweatpants. It's great. I have yeah. more sweatpants than I do. I think I have equal amount of sweatpants than sure. I do regular pants. Really? Yeah. That's weird. That's odd. I would not have guessed that. How many pairs of sweatpants do you have? Seven, maybe. How many of those do you actually wear? I think that's a better question. How many? Seven. I think it is. You wear all seven. Once I go through all the sweatpants, I mean, when I'm around the house. Sweatpants. Yeah, when it I, doesn't really matter. When I'm running errands, sweatpants. I don't know. There are Jeans. certain... There are sweatpants right now. Well, that's because I wore these yesterday, and I was wearing my work <laughs> jeans. And I was like, I don't want to wear my work jeans in the pod. You are a jeans guy. I 
I'll wear jeans if I'm going to go do mm-hmm. physical. Like when I work at my mom's house, I'll wear jeans or shitty sweatpants when I was painting this past weekend. Yeah. But I also wasn't informed I was painting this past weekend. I thought I was just moving stuff over. I go, hey, you're not at your condo. She goes, oh, yeah, we're painting all day today. I go, I didn't wear the right clothes for this. Moms I have, my have good tendency pants to do that. Yeah, get there. And she goes, well, better grab some sweatpants for your brother. I go, he's got none. So I found, like, the smallest pair of sweatpants that are, like, just tucked in the back of his closet. And I painted ceilings for eight hours. Oh, did you, did you paint the finger one? The what? The, the 16th Chapel ceiling is where they have... Do you ever see the picture of... All right, Jesus. <laughs> you, These you, art when, snobs when, are so... What are you talking about? The, am I painting hit, people did on you, this? Did you paint the finger one? <laughs> The 16th and chapel. you pointed like oh there's God, something over here. You pointed at the door like there's a I finger. Know. You put you pointed. I know no, what you're that's talking what he about. Yeah, but you. I was doing it on camera. <laughs> you dumb idiot. Did you ever do this thing? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Instagram ads, I got one today, and it was a um, uh, jewelry artist having um, women that just recently had kids sending in a sample of their breast milk. <laughs> And her turning it into a necklace. They turned it into a necklace. What the how? Would they just put a little of the breast milk Probably in? Probably some like acrylic a- or something. They, 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 she, she sprinkled the breast milk in to this tube. And then it was in the shape of a gem. And then sprinkled some other stuff in there. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. You could do that with probably like... Anything you want. What's wanted. worse? No, that say, or the, say what you want to say. That or the belly button. Jack, say what you want to say. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you were holding that you one. so devious about like, pretty much anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Can I? There's one like, thing that goes through my mind a lot. Yeah, it was like when Chris Farley goes, we can fit a six pack of soda in here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Could you do me so funny to have a cum like a cum drop necklace? Like, oh, you would give it to G for sure. <laughs> Thank you, go, my darling. A cum drop <laughs> necklace. You break it open <laughs> in case of emergencies. In case of emergencies. In case of need of rapid impregnation. I keep that break thing glass. on me. <laughs> so stupid. That's so good. I have a bunch of kids around my neck. <laughs> what are you doing? What's the with you, Cusky, over there? Just a cum necklace. Would be <laughs> cum necklace is so, it's so wild. It's just, but like it's like the same kind of thing like the pearl necklace, you know what I mean? But it's your own. It's actually cum. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guess if you ever seen the ones where like the people had the bracelets where there's like ocean water actually and ocean sand, <laughs> yeah. it's that, but not PG. Yeah. <laughs> PG thirteen. A vial of cum is also very funny. <laughs> just like a vial of it. <laughs> like someone needs this. To yeah. uh, that's very funny. You guys want to play the game? Yeah, let's play the game. It's time to play the game. So speaking of that, because that's the Triple H's theme song. Yeah. I watched WrestleMania this weekend and got absolutely slobber knockered. It was so fun. I heard it was a great one. It was, I mean, as good as like wrestling can be, actually. But like, I, I got. Pretty messed up on Saturday and watched it, and I had the time of my life just pretending like I knew what was going on and like talking shit because it was a last minute decision to yeah. watch it. And then last night, I was pretty hungover, and so I did all my stuff in the morning and I got back from like my errands and like cooking and stuff to sit down and watch day two of WrestleMania by myself. And then Jen came into the living room and basically called me a homo for four hours. <laughs> She was like, this is so stupid. This is the worst thing ever. I was like, you watch like Vanderpump Rules. She was at Rules. a baby sprinkle, you called it. That's what it's called. It's a mini shower. When it's, were they midgets? <laughs> hey, next time Babies. you're hungover, I think you should have some of these. Some of what? Our Booze Better Supplements packets. Booze Better Supplements. Last time I took these, I actually didn't feel too bad after that. I felt great. I think they gave me a second wind. Half of it did go all over the car, but day after part. So you have one post party. I'll when take you're one done. right after I have this brandy old fashioned. Speaking of which, which drink was Paul and just, just messaged me now. Is well, Paul the p- pill guy? Paul is our uh, our booze butter guy. Hi, Paul. Thank booze you butter. for these. Honestly, hangover. Take it before you go to sleep, and then you take it when you wake up in the morning. You're gonna feel better. Easy. And then you could do it again. You could just keep doing it. It's a yeah. constant cycle. There's no way you're going to feel bad on these. It's like l- liquid IV for on steroids. They're really good, actually. 
Yeah. Have you ever wanted a party? Wake up, do it again. Great for do bat- this in between bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, uh, divorce parties, getting married parties, weddings, getting married then divorced and meet annulment We're, parties. Working up the courage to get a divorce. Uh, circumcisions, um, vasectomies, uh, sending in your cum to make a necklace, mammograms, post mammograms, uh, <laughs> post in the mail. Post Malone uses them. Brunch. That's all. That's all the parties. I think we had a brunch. That was a banger. That was good. All, all right, you guys ready to play the game? Yeah. All right, this game's called Real or Fake. I'm going to tell you a news headline, and you have to tell me if it's real or if it's fake. Oh, I thought we were going to do boobs. <laughs> Dude, can we do real or fake boobs? It'd be so easy. It'd be so easy. All right. Also, these whether or not these are real things or whether or not these are fake things. NASA is installing internet on the moon. Real or fake? Real. It's already there. Fake. That's a point for Kuski. Uh, it is. It is real. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have, Na- NASA. Can I do the same guess he has, or can, can I mean, I you can do whatever the yeah. fuck you oh, want. Well, fuck you. Um, I thought I had to go on the other end. NASA is building a 4G network on the moon to enable their control of the lunar rollouts better. Okay, that's pretty Wait, cool. Wait, is it 4G or 5G that causes COVID? Oh, yeah, that's 5G for that's sure. That's 5G. You can't get 5G at the... You, you can't, can't get, get 5G You can't get COVID the on the moon, though. No. I mean, if they have 5G, though, then obviously it's going to interact with the neural chip that they put in your brain and the chip that they have in your arm for the COVID vaccine. You know, everyone mm. knows that. What if we kill all the aliens on the moon by giving them COVID? Fuck. And okay. total takeover. All right. A university, real or fake, university banned the use of capital letters to avoid scaring students. This is real. I write in all capital letters. <laughs> Do you really? Mm-hmm. So I hope this is fake. But how quickly you said real makes you want to say real. Final answers? Yes. Yeah. It is fake. Fuck uh, well, actually, good d- for me. Wait, <laughs> do you think he's also just making up articles? Where that, do you find that your is fake a ones? that is a satire article that went came out in the Onion. I love oh, the onion. that's where I saw the article done. <laughs> 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 All right, a uh, couple in California named their baby with an emoji. It's California. Yeah, I'd say real. It's gonna be real. That is fake. <laughs> that's another story that's made up satirically for the news site. You guys aren't doing good on this. I'm winning. Uh, all right. Eight year olds pulls medieval sword from lake with fishing pole. That one's real. That's real. That is correct. Two real stories there, baby. Did you read that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think I don't know things about medieval swords? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I kind of bought into you right away there. Yeah. I was right. believing you. Yep. Uh, German street covered in chocolate after leak from chocolate factory. <laughs> that's a movie. Please be true. It's fake. True. True. That's a movie. That is real. <laughs> Jack gets the point. Willy Wonka's real. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Yeah. Uh, a vat. Leaked from a chocolate factory and covered all over the pavement. You know how funny it is that like a vat is real. Every time I hear like vat, I'm always picturing like comic book stuff, like, but, like a vat of chocolate. Yeah, that's like a, a real thing. Like someone goes to work and works on, on a vats. Vat. <laughs> like, <laughs> Do you work on vats or you just monitor vats? You stir vats. Like I hope this doesn't spoons. spill. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's a giant wooden spoon <laughs> up there? You're on a platform and you have this giant wooden spoon and you're just like, man, I hope. Some guy that has questionable morals doesn't fall in this. I had to go counterclockwise. I'll tell you what, that Willie is insane. Honestly, he's a crazy guy to work for. Uh, school bans parents for sporting events due to bad behavior. That's real. Yeah. That's got to be that real. That could be real in every Anywhere. state. Yeah. <laughs> My That's dad's been kicked real. out of games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, they banned your par- all parents. Your parents get kicked Every, out of all, all, all parents. parents. Oh, all oh, parents were born because they came too competitive and threatening at the staff. Wait, what sport? Uh, they said sports. They didn't. I don't know. I got pretty beat up on when I refed hockey, so I can understand that. Did do your parents ever get kicked out of your own sporting events? No. My dad and my uncle got kicked out of my basketball games, <laughs> and I went to a church school. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, sir. You need to leave. They would make them sit in like the hallway and watch through the window. Like you don't have to leave the building, but you need to watch where no one can hear did, you. Did you ever get ejected from a game? No. Did you ever get ejected from a game? No, but I got like 
it was when I was a kid. So like the opposing team's coach took me into their um, like bench. It was hockey, so they took me over to their side of the bench, and fucking ripped into me. And I actually became really good friends with his son afterwards. But wow. because I was just I was like seven, and you're not allowed to check. But goddamn, did I love putting the body on some people? <laughs> so I got, I got I got in a lot of trouble, and I was like back to the bench, like just like made seven kids cry, and I just got kind of yelled at because I hit hit them like a lot, and I was like <gasps> just like crying so hard, like snot coming out of my nose. You don't know what to do when you're that young, and you actually yeah. just get really reprimanded. Yeah. Like you really felt like you just yeah. ruined the world. Yeah. You know what's hap- what's cool though is that guy did that like. He's not like my parents. Like he probably yeah. shouldn't have done that. But my parents were like, "It's probably probably a good move." Like they like didn't care. <laughs> yeah. They didn't care. He was nice. It was. But fine. I also don't think it's a bad thing. I no. still think like people like kids need to get disciplined. Like when you're on the rink or the court or the field or whatever, the two coaches are your two parents. Like your coaches are your parents on the field. Like your yeah. parents can't come down and helicopter you while you're playing a game right. it is your coach's responsibility to teach you mm-hmm. one how to play and how to like respect other people so i think that's actually a good thing yeah I but mean, today the should it have been fly. should today have been your co- oh my god that coach would be in prison yeah, with the so. serial killer should it have probably been your coach yeah but yeah but my coach was loving it that's the <laughs> problem <laughs> then it's fine <laughs> all right next one spinach can be taught to send emails god this is What's spinach like from Veggie Tales spinach? Veggie Tales. I'm gonna go false. I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say this is real. Kuski is right. Is real. I thought that was too outlandish. Uh, yeah. The, during COVID, you could always COVID. A man, a man, had his spinach send his emails for him so he could lay on the couch. <laughs> It, the, if the, if you put like sun towards it, they'll go towards it. So like he was put his laptop towards the window, and mm-hmm. basically the spinach would would go towards the sun, and it would just go basically go like in real time. Like if I put it, if you were spinach, and I put my phone light to you, you would gradually start coming towards me. Yeah, I assume I don't. Okay. Know. So like, is that teaching the spinach? No, to you send typed emails? up the email. Yeah, this, this, and this, hoping it like the leave hit sent. I don't think you been, deserve that this point. Was, in the Telegraph and the Huffington Post. I don't think Post. that article deserves to be published. That He's, article was written by idiots. It was the written guy by the spinach. Made spinach go towards the laptop. Good move, dude. Because that wiggles your mouth on <laughs> yeah, mouse yeah. on teams. Good yeah. move. Yeah. But bullshit. You get a point for that because that spinach was not like. Let me type up a. Please see attached. <laughs> That'd be crazy if it did. <laughs> yeah. What does this spinach plant look like? I know what spin- spinach leaves look like. Yeah, but I always like. But I always just buy it in. I guess. You never buy the plant? I never. I, I was just I bet buying it's just the vines. bag. I bet it's yeah. just vines. Yeah. Like a bushel? Gorilla learns to knit. Yeah, that's got to be true. Fing- monkeys. I don't think it's gentle. I don't think it's gentle enough to do it. But monkeys are like communicating with us. But gorillas. I'm going to say false. I'm going to say it's true. Jack gets the point. That Damn. is false. Their opposable thumbs stop them from <laughs> doing any type You of- think the opposable thumbs would help them? Uh, oh, that's a gorilla. They have not mastered the knitting <laughs> yet. You're on your choosy. Uh, oh, my God. An oldie but a goodie. <laughs> yeah. Hope you're doing all right, Sully. <laughs> hey, he went. He, I saw a YouTube video recently, actually today, um, where he went to uh, the solar eclipse thing. No one watched it. That's okay. It's well, okay. we got to open that. Uh, we got to open that. We don't need to open Orangutans. We're gonna watch it now. Orangutans use slang just like humans. I would agree. Yeah, I would agree. That is correct. That's a real article. They use slang just like you and me. I don't like the way he said <laughs> that. <laughs> just like, like you, you and me. me. <laughs> it sounded like something else was coming after that. Yeah. That's so mid. All right, polar bears scream when they poo. Yeah, that's real. No. <laughs> that is very false. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> you think that's what a polar bear sounds like? When it's pooping. Allegedly. I think there's some more there's more bass in it. Uh, it's not screaming, that's more just like But like louder. Climate activist Greta Thornburg told people in China to stop using chopsticks to save trees. Probably. That woman's batshit. But I'm gonna say false. I'm gonna say it's true. 
That is false. That is a Fox News headline. <laughs> <laughs> Been hanging out with my dad too much. <laughs> uh, That's rac- funny. Raccoons break in a California bank. That's true. Were they on surfboards? Uh, I'm going to say it's false. That is true. Jack takes the lead. Uh, <laughs> these trash bandits are real bandits as they broke into a bank in Redwood City. Is that the only one you wrote a follow-up for? No, that was the actual follow-up. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that was not me. I have, like, I have like, they have, like, the news source as well, just in case oh. you came at me and be like, that's not real, and I can tell you exactly what, what article I, I like to check my facts. All right. Uh, see what United California Airlines did recently. California theme park bans screaming because of COVID-19. Again, with the California, it's a little wishy-washy. Can you imagine banning screaming while you're getting shot out of a cannon? <laughs> what? Imagine how hard it would. <laughs> Imagine how hard it would be for a polar bear. Okay, well, Universal Studios in Orlando, they have the Hulk ride, and basically, like, you sit in this thing, and all of a sudden, it just goes, and it shoots you out. Not a real cannon, but it shoots you like at really fast speeds. I mean, imagine how lame all those pictures would be when you get off the ride, and everyone's just well, like this. All, all doing this. All this one. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's false. false I hope. This is going to be true. That is correct. Oh, that yes. is false. All right. Last question. Jack is up by one. Can Michael tie it up? Can you tie it up? An artist sells invisible sculptures for more than $13,000. This true. is true. That's true. That is correct. That is true. I think that's from one of my don't you knows where a lady was selling... Um, like $10,000 artwork from a museum of never existed or something like that before. That's crazy. People are dumb enough to buy that. Uh, The artist, uh, the sculptures don't exist and the artist claims it's in the mind of the creators. (laughs) What a a great business plan. Not gonna lie. Could you imagine just being like, yeah, look at that sculpture I just bought. 13 grand. And you point and you're like, what is it? Exactly. exactly. What, so do you, what do you see? And there's see? Just a plaque next <laughs> well, to it. I mean, that's the painting to your left right now. That cost us 20 grand. We snuck that down here when you weren't, <laughs> when you were sleeping. That's uh, also our wedding gift to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good call. Good callback, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good callback. <laughs> Tag still isn't off the hat. No. How much is that hat? Four thousand dollars. <laughs> it's in the mind of the creator. <laughs> this hat doesn't have price tag on it because it's priceless. It's priceless, but it's a damn good hat. I actually used to have this it fits when, I, you well. when I worked when I worked for them. I had this hat. I don't know where it went, but now I have a new one, which is cool. Drink responsibly. Think, Think responsibly. Think responsibly as well. We do something different for that every time. I like. know, but it's going to be fun when we mash it all together at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Who's we? <laughs> <laughs> Make it as hard as we can for Michael Kuski to edit this. <laughs> Just won't happen. <laughs> Not happening today. Well, uh, how's, uh, now we do have to talk about we're going to be at the Comedy Cabin. Yes, oh, we yes. finally we should. I think by the time this out, we should be promoting this. Yeah, maybe we should cut everything we just did and then start from here so that <laughs> people see it when they play. Well, this will be the intro. Join us at the Comedy Cabin May thirty first, two thousand and twenty four, for a night of laughs, love, and laughs. You got that from ChatGPT. You should have seen the fucking thing yeah. you wrote for for that thing. You should have seen it. I looked at it and I go, "There's no way." There's no way we could send this in. It was the way I described. He's like, get ready to meet your favorite bozos. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it just say that. No, I said if we were Rice Krispie Streets, we would be. What was it? Short, nerdy, old and nerdy. And old. Yeah, and I was like, have you ever done a chore so bad you never have to do it again? Yeah, actually, Nathan actually texted me after he saw that. And said that there was actually negative tickets. <laughs> <laughs> we owe them. <laughs> People have been asking, hey, can you pay us money for just looking at for this? For looking at this? <laughs> no, I, that's my least favorite thing to do. Speak? Speak. Uh, no. May 31st, we'll be live from the Comedy Cabin in Janesville, Wisconsin. Yes, it will be. Janesville, Wisconsin. It's a great club. Mm-hmm. I've been there before. 
Cause he's, he's been, been there. there before as well. Uh, it's gonna be a blast. Come on out, please. How much bullshit out. is Jack's first time he's headlining it? And and will we be doing it barefoot? That's gonna be a good question. That is a good question. Ooh, we might be doing no. it barefoot. But I guess you have to come out May thirty first at the Comedy Cabin to see it. Keywords and feet. We'll yeah, be doing yeah. a live podcast as well as having some um, stand up. Some stand up. Who is the headliner that will be joining us? Well, P- that's, that's, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna say that just yet. I don't think we're gonna say that just yet. Okay. So, but come on out, buy tickets. It's gonna be a blast. I think it's gonna be very similar to like a late night thing for yeah. us, where we we just get a hangout, mm-hmm. talk some shit. Maybe give away a few things. We're going to be playing. Plenty of we're going to be playing games. I'm still going to bring some games. Uh, we're going to vet the games. Don't worry. We're also going to have some uh, audience participation. Question yes. mark. Drink so Wisconsin will be there. Drink Wisconsin will be there. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. And Party. they have G-Spot a surprise for everyone. Yeah. Rachel will not be there. She doesn't love me, and wait, I just wait, want wait, to put that into the wait. universe. Before you said that, we have a surprise for everybody. Yeah, we'll have a surprise for everyone. Drink oh. Wisconsin, we'll have a surprise for everyone. Oh, yeah. that's exciting. I love yeah. surprises. I don't even know what it is, and I'm part of this. <laughs> you know what it you is. You know what it oh, is. I've been told it, and I don't remember <laughs> what it is. So that's fun. This is going to be fun for me. Judd may or may not be at the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the surprise is Judd's not there. Yeah. <laughs> They'd replace me as a surprise. With chat GBT for games. <laughs> Uh, I've seen ChatGPT write a couple descriptions, and they, I, I don't think ChatGPT is really. We don't have to worry about it. No, we don't have to worry about them yet. They do pretty much the same thing over and over. Like, uh, I do ChatGPT for uh, the subject line and news and like uh, newsletters and stuff because it's super easy. So you just, I'd be like, hey, give me a subject line of this paragraph. And I mm-hmm. literally just copy and paste the paragraph, and it's always the same exact thing. It's like, explore, and that's all oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. It's well, like they're what they're using is keywords from like they they're pulling. I mean, they're it, it works because they're pulling like the words that like, have gotten clicks from other articles. So explore is definitely what's drawing people into things or like urgent or yeah. just like really attacking words that are going to serial killer but in I Milwaukee. Yeah, but I can't, missing leg. Yeah, but I can't just keep having the thing say explore. <laughs> every, <laughs> yeah. every email says explore. <laughs> Goes, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> Click this link below. <laughs> Keywords, baby. We did that with I did that with our thumbnails once where it was uh something about like I don't know if we were doing aliens or like ghost stories. The I didn't notice it back to back thumbnails were like um missing person or like the story of whatever haunted house with AJ in the next one <laughs> with like you same exact shit. I go, I think we should start switching this shit up. <laughs> Do you ever like look at the the analytics of what the best thumbnail is? No, not really. Okay. I I try and make them relevant enough um, or catchy enough, um, but other than that, I mean, I'll look at some of the analytics just to see how we're doing. If I get too involved in that, it takes away the fun of this a lot, um, and I'm trying to like dial that down. That was a light one. That was forced and wet. Yeah, it was, but I didn't take away any of the fun. I hate that you put it towards your face after that. Well, I'm also going <laughs> to smell it. How else am I going to smell it? <laughs> How does it smell? Like a microphone. Like a microphone? It just got thrown out. I don't think these microphones have any smell. I don't think this podcast has gotten low. Wait, let me smell yours now. I'm just kidding. Anyone want a Bobo's? I already had one. Okay. I thought you were going to eat one. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. You didn't like no. peanut butter. Oh, um, this is going to come out after. But uh, I'm doing a comedy show. Did I tell you guys this yet? Oh, my God. You're doing a comedy show? No fucking way. Just when did you shut start? Up. Just shut up. Um, I'm doing a comedy show, and halfway through, you eat a habanero and then finish your set. Oh, I really want to do that show. I That's really want to do that. That would be... My nightmare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, but when I agreed to it, I did not know this. <laughs> That's even better. That's the greatest there thing. It was like, you want to do a show? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 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 This a buddy is of mine in... is like, you want to do a show? I was like, yeah, I'll come now. This is in Madison, correct? No, it's Chicago. It's Chicago? Yeah. Oh, oh who does I'm, I'm doing it at the Laugh Factory. I've got something for you. Oh, your sneak... That's what the flask with... I was so good. I'm like, oh, I got to yeah, sneak yeah, yeah. milk that's, in. That's what I said, I said kind of... That's yeah. when I found out. You're gonna put milk in it. I'm gonna put milk in the <laughs> flask, which is gonna be great for my set, but like also keeping me alive. 
I think that'd be fun. Who runs that show? Because I know there's one. Um, I think Sasha does one in Madison. Oh, then Sasha. <laughs> God, he is such a fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. <laughs> One day, Cussie's going to storm off the podcast. I hope your camera isn't recording. Honestly, that's... I hope your mic's unplugged. <laughs> that would actually be a nightmare. That would also Whatever. not be the first time, I think, yeah. as well. <laughs> it's always your shit, too. Yeah, it's, it's always your shit. interesting how it's always my <laughs> stuff. <there. laughs> that's okay. We'll just, just so everyone knows, I have... A different microphone than everyone else here, <laughs> which is even more skeptical. It's your microphone. It is. It is, but it's plugged in differently than everyone else's. Because we can't plug all three in that one. That's true. All right. So I almost wore shorts here because it's 60 degrees, okay? It's beautiful out. It's beautiful out. I really want to go golfing with you guys soon. We can go golfing. No, we can go golfing. But can we... Uh, we're going to have to go after your wedding, correct? Yeah. Because I really want to go. And I'm going to see Rachel this weekend. Every time I go see her it, during this time of the year, it's the nicest weekend of the year mm-hmm. after a bunch of rain. And I'm upset. Well, I'm not upset that I go see her. Not at all. Backpedal. <laughs> Backpedal. <laughs> edit that out. <laughs> but we need to schedule time to do it. Um, and I can't mention Callaway golf poles anymore. I was telling Jack, we got flagged big time. Was it for Callaway? I don't know. Or was it, I don't it because know I popped open a beer with teeth? popped open teeth. a beer with his teeth, and YouTube's like, this is inappropriate for children. We are going to flag your content from here on out. Yeah. That's wild. It's you know what it is? It's the TikTok live thing all over again. Okay, well, the, it's it's so wild, though. Sometimes there's so many crazy TikToks of just, like, girls showing their starfish, and, like, I can't talk about drinking beers. You don't drink so, it. You open it I, and I, pour I, it. I do think drinking is a big thing, especially for an, an advertisement. You thing. can't any alcohol ad. You can't actually take a sip of it. Yeah. So You're every not to. every Heineken, yeah. every Budweiser, they never drink the alcohol in there. So they just hold on to it. Go watch yeah. any alcohol. Ad. They've never so taken. That's a sip why of I it. thought yeah. the TikTok got flagged. We were drinking in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's that one makes like, more sense. But he doesn't say like the only thing that like. I thought could get flagged for is you're like, hey, you done s- dumb, stupid brain, motherfucker. I'm like, and I was called it, him a smooth brain. Was it the shorts? Mm-hmm. It was, it was like, shorts, hey, yeah. you, do you know anything about money? And I was like, I don't know yeah. much about money, but I know a lot about drinking beer. And yeah. I like open the bottle. Got flagged twice, and I appealed it, and they're like, nah, this sucks. <laughs> like, okay. No, no, they just said it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like why. Thank you for they're just like, stupid shit. We're doing shit. you a favor right now. <laughs> you don't want to show this? <laughs> Let's not show Ooh. We gotta wear the pink hard hats too. We do not need to wear the pink hard hats. Why not? Where even where even are they? They're in the closet. One of them's broken. Are they really? Those yeah. are nice hard hats, though. Yeah, they're nice. Hungry, hungry hippo hard hats. What else? Oh, did you guys look at the eclipse today? It's so underwhelming. The way I would have described it is like I was sitting in my office and I thought, like, wow, it feels cloudy outside, but mm-hmm. I could still see the sun. And I didn't even know it was happening today. Mm-hmm. And then our PTM came in and goes, is it happening? I want to see it. I'm like, I don't know. Walked outside and it was it was just like. One? Did you look at it with a protective eyewear? Yeah. Did you look but at it, with it, it was almost like you just put. Outside? I didn't go outside either. It was like, like you put a filter on the sun is all it was. Like It was still sunny, but just darker. There was, yeah. people, there was people at work that were like, we're going outside at this time to this time to watch the eclipse. We're bringing our laptops. If anyone wants to come. And I was like, no. Where do you th- th- work? Th- didn't, don't worry about it. Th- this just <laughs> happened like a couple years ago. Yeah. It's not like a once in a lifetime thing. And like also the fact that you have to get 3D glasses somewhere. Like it's so the fact that's, that you can just go buy cardboard glasses, just like a little piece of paper. That's a scam from big 3D though. Like, yeah. But here's the thing. I don't, I don't want to look up because I don't want to ruin my eyesight. But also I really want to look up because I want to see if I'll actually ruin my eyesight. You don't. Does that happen to you too? <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. Because also then it's just the same jokes every single year that I hate mm-hmm. so much. It's like someone put a a, a beer can over it and that's, oh, yeah. you know it's like or or you know whatever and they eat it you know it's like <laughs> I saw someone who just I wonder like, who did the Oreo one. one. Oh, this was funny actually. Because like he started he started called out. David Lewis 
his Oreo one was very funny. But like I saw I saw someone like literally do it with like a thing and then go hug like I like uh, when it when it was in front of that. And then they do the same I, I did one years ago when the eclipse happened, it was like I already saw this and it was just a picture of the Twilight Eclipse D V D. So you're part of the problem. I'm very part, much part of the problem. It'd be really funny it. if we got a good angle of it and one of us just dipped our Oh, Ooh, that's that's also the one. I will... the, the two I've seen that I didn't hate was uh, like a uh, your mom's house studios. They put a white guy and then oh. they just had like a black guy go yeah. in front of it. Or uh, what is this? You're gonna have to pass this phone over. <laughs> that's so see. funny. That's good comedy. Pass it over. <laughs> the other one was uh, <laughs> those, those stray hairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone just put like in a. What was it? The eclipse gum or whatever? Oh yeah, just in front of it. Yeah. I go. It's the same. You thing know what? Clever over. enough. We should put Bobo's PPJs over <laughs> it. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> the grape one. Also, this is like three weeks late. Also. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Everyone's like, "Why the fuck do they keep talking about the eclipse?" <laughs> we really happened. liked it. <laughs> All of this stuff already happened, which is very funny. We just start planning ahead. We should be like, "What's a big <laughs> what, thing that's happening, that's happening in, a in week? three weeks? <laughs> <laughs> what What is in three weeks? I don't know. Masters isn't. is over. He's okay. getting married. So, all right, who won the uh, Who oh. won the Masters? Who won the mat? Ooh, who, oh, the Masters is soon. It's this week. Is it Thursday? Shut up. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so behind. So, uh, did we like the Masters? Was it good? Was it good? It was a oh. good Masters. I thought this year. I was shocked by who won it, which was. Oh, sorry. Um, You're the fucking the white guy. West no, no, it was they. Rory was close, and I thought he was gonna pull it it's out. Oval. This is done. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are the worst yes and partner I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. <laughs> mm, don't like a joke. It's done. <laughs> no, who won it? Um, Fitzpatrick. Matt Fitzpatrick. Yep. Wyndham Clark. That's a really good pick. Thank you. Yeah. That's uh, also the name he's seen in <laughs> online the most the recently. Place where I used to work. I'm, college, I'm, ver- I'm very happy for right. Tommy Fleetwood. I'm That's so glad that he finally name. got one. Tommy Fleetwood, baby. Oh we're kidding. We're kidding. We obviously know Brooks won it. Bryson, we're happy you won. <laughs> um, Tiger. <laughs> Holy John shit. Cena came Phil, in. you finally did. Yeah. Can you edit this or whoever wins? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Yeah. What if we haven't hit it yet? So okay. let's get the list. So do, go through the whole thing that we all the names we just said, but you have to say because he asks you. Could you believe seven year old Phil Mickelson won the <laughs> <Masters? laughs> <laughs> All right, let me start. Give me a list of all the golf. We have Rory. We have Tiger. We have Phil. I can't say you, it like yeah, that. Yeah, you can't, say, can't it, say, look, it like just that. say Rory. Rory won the Masters. Rory won the Masters. No, I mean, you have to say a different person. I just said that. Oh. Tiger Woods, congrats on another unbelievable win at the Masters. We didn't think he'd get it done. Wyndham Clark, he's hot right now. He's just getting better and better every time. Sergio Garcia, what a spicy meet the ball that was when you were at the Masters. That's not an Italian guy. (laughs) (laughs) That's not getting cut. (laughs) <laughs> Scotty Scheffler, glad you're keeping that hot streak going. Congrats on winning the Masters. John Rahm, you... Wait, you, you want to give us an accent for that one, too? <laughs> no, you're Spanish. I know that. Uh, you could probably... <laughs> Wait, remember his uh, Jackie Chan? Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> pretty good. Um, also, John Rahm, your oddly shaped body won the Masters again. Good he has for a you. club foot. That's how he hits the balls, what? idiot. <laughs> What do you mean he has a club foot? Yeah, he's got a club foot. A golf club foot? <laughs> <laughs> I was so late. We're I'll so many steps. That, is, that is so late. I will put it in the episode after that. <laughs> two weeks All you can do is hope to keep up, buddy. <laughs> Those short legs are having small steps. <laughs> I need to go get that athleisure wear, whatever that guy's making. <laughs> what is I'll it called? some links. I don't remember what it's called. I obviously what does he just sell? Mediums to extra smalls? <laughs> <But> like, <laughs> that's the thing. Is you can just get a smaller size for short people. <laughs> He's just selling crop top shirts. <laughs> <laughs> He's just buying name brand shit and putting it I'm in the wash. my sister's it. clothing. <laughs> uh, oh, 
You mean all right? Long COVID. Lung COVID? It's the vaccine. It's getting to me. Is Raw on yet? I got to follow up what happens with Raw? WrestleMania. Now you're into wrestling, wait, aren't wait, you? Wait, wait, what? I thought it was over. I, yeah. But Monday Night Raw's on tonight. Yeah, but didn't someone win? Yeah. Ro- Cody Rhodes Cody finished Rhodes, his yeah. story. He beat the tribal chief. Who's the they, tribal chief? Roman Reigns. Acknowledged. Didn't he get to pick that he got to fight him? Yes. But he because he wanted to win the championship. And the championship's the top of the pyramid, man. All right, you get to the tippy top. But in the beginning, on Saturday, him, Cody Rhodes, and Seth freaking Rollins, all right, had a tag team match against Roman Reigns and The Rock. The Rock, all right? If The Rock and Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns won, then the match on Sunday was bloodline rules, which means no disqualifications, anything goes, all right? <laughs> Cody lost. So then... There was no disqualifications. Anything goes. You could use weapons. You could have people come in and help you. So basically, what it was kind of scripted to me. I wonder why. So what happens was, someone came in to go save Roman because Roman was losing, and then that person that came in to fight Roman Reigns, his twin brother came and speared him off of the stage. All right, that's number one. Another guy came in, started beating up on Cody Rhodes. John Cena comes in, puts him through a table. All right. After that. The Rock comes in to fight John Cena. John Cena gets beaten by The Rock. The Undertaker comes in under the cover of darkness, destroys destroys The Rock. Cody Rhodes finishes off Roman Reigns with three crossroads in a row. All right, see you guys. I'll keep going. Um, so here on Monday Night Raw, we will see what happens because Cody Rhodes' story is finished. But the second chapter has only begun. Tonight on Monday Night Raw, which is actually last night's Monday, last week's Monday Night Raw. All right, because wrestling is a wild business, baby. 365 days a year, no days off. Drink responsibly. Think responsibly. <laughs>